What's up? This is Pass with Crypto checking in with another video. Stick around to the end because there's a lot of good information in this one. You ain't going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. All right, let's get to it. This channel is about making money, passive income. If you're interested in making passive income, click that thumbs up tab to give me a like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell and click all. That way you'll be the first one to see my videos when they drop. So this is an update video. So my last video, I talked about Garuda Swap. So I wanted to give you guys an update on just so you guys could see my progress in the Garuda Swap finance. So let's look at it. The price has dropped down significantly and the market in general has dropped down significantly. Also, the Binance Smart Chain, you know, they had a few hiccups, you know, so it kind of push me to look for other blockchains to be able to yield farm and invest in on that blockchain so i'm gonna get to that at the end of this video so stick around you ain't gonna want to miss that so all right let's get to it so so far this is what i've done so i've earned 188 garuda which i accidentally pushed to my wallet uh, right now i've earned 12 garuda i have 32 that's i need to harvest so let's get to some of this other stuff first. You know, I just want to show you the money. So that's it right there. 188, 180 Garuda. Um, my last video, I made over 700 something uh, dollars, but that was when the price was um, like a dollar fifty, dollar forty, somewhere up in there. So anyway, so I have to harvest this. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, get this money. So I have to make a, this, a business decision, y'all, about the Garuda swap. Now, I do really do. <laughs> I mean, I really do like this platform. They have a lot to offer. It's just that the price has been going down significantly. And it's kind of forcing me to uh, think about the way to invest in this one. So currently, I'm investing in the... Garuda um, pool. So I'm going to show you guys that. And I'm in the wrap BNB. I'm in the Garuda. So, excuse me. And the APR is 1,365%, which is excellent. Under normal circumstances, I would stay in this pool. The reason being, I don't want to pair this token because the price fluctuates wildly, which could create a problem with impermanent loss. So I'm staking it by itself. The problem that I'm having, uh, that I'm dealing with, is that the price is dramatically uh, decreasing. And it hasn't found a stable point yet. I thought it would be around 40 about 50 45 cent but it looked like it's going to keep going down and i don't want to wake up tomorrow and be at like 10 cent when i have this much garuda that i have staked so what i'm going to do yes i'm still going to continue to farm this platform because i do like it um they have a lot of unique features in this platform that i do like so what i'm planning on doing i'm probably going to harvest um withdraw my liquidity and then sell it for BUSD and then just stake the BUSD because it's paying 253% APR which isn't bad um, it does have an eight hour harvest lockup so once I deposit in here I can't withdraw the first time it would be an eight hour window I have to wait eight hours before I can withdraw with the Garuda I only have to wait two excuse me two hours <laughs> However, you know, the price keep dropping, so I don't want to give up these gains. I mean, it's at 37 cent right now, so I don't, like I said, I don't want to wake up tomorrow and it's at 10 cent. So I'm going to withdraw this liquidity and I'm going to put it in BSD, BUSD. I'm going to stake it there for a while. And then once the price hits a, a floor, I will get back in. I might get back in Garuda. I don't know. But I will continue to stake because I don't think this platform is going to scam out 
um, unless it's some type of attack on a platform where someone from the outside uh, was is able to get to the funds. Um, so that's what I want to do with that one. But before I do, let's go over some of these features because nobody's really talking about um, these features. So Garuda Swap and the other one I'm going to talk about, which will be next, is Great Gator Swap. They're both forks of Panther Swap which is this platform right here. This is the original. Both of these, Garuda Swap and Gator Swap, are forks of Panther Swap. So Panther Swap had came out with a lot of custom code relating to taxes, burn mechanism, and anti-well features. And these features are pretty new um, to yield farming for these, this type of platform on Binance Smart Chain. And the features that this one has, the original, they have automatic liquidity, which is basically uh, you have to pay a 5% transfer tax. So they had automated burning, a harvest lockup, and anti-well features, and a deposit fee redistribution, which I liked a lot. You know, According to this, a 4% deposit fee will be charged when users enter staking on PancakeSwap. But unlike other yield farms, we do not plan to use the deposit fee to buy back and burn. It's a waste of money. Instead, we will redistribute 3% deposit fee back to Panther Holdings to encourage holding. I don't think a lot of people are talking about this feature enough. So if you just hold a Panther token, you would get 3% um, of that 4% deposit fee. You know. So that's similar to reflection tokens where you get it uh, airdrop for just holding the token. Panther Swap has that feature as well. And these other clones have something similar to that. So if you just hold the token, you know, you will get extra tokens. <laughs> people don't, I, I think a lot of people don't even know that, man, because I'm not hearing anybody actually say that in their video. So I just want to put that out there. So let's look at uh, Guardia. I mean, Garuda, excuse me. So let's look and see, do they have that feature? Um, and they do. 75% of the 4% deposit fee will be re redistributed to Garuda token holders. Unfortunately, with Garuda, I wish they would have rolled this out first because I clicked on it. And unfortunately, with Garuda, they're basically saying that uh, they won't implement this until like 14 to 21 days after the initial launch of this platform. So, you know, it would have been nice if they did that right away, you know, because of the mass dumping. I mean, they might want to consider implementing that feature now. You know, that would, I think, would stop some of the dumping and people will actually hold the tokens because they give it a reason to hold the token longer than usual you know because you would get airdropped tokens just for holding the token so there is a 40 percent deposit fee which you will see on some of the firms right so one percent right one percent in uh, eventually will go to the devs and then three percent will go to garuda holders via sky farming which is basically an airdrop you know um, similar to airdrops. I'm not exactly like airdrops because according to this, they're saying they're going to have two pools, which would be BUSD and BNB. So they switching it up a little bit. But they should have implemented, in my opinion, they should have implemented that now instead of waiting because, I mean, the price just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. I think that would help provide a buffer, an extra buffer on top of all these other features that they have. So I do like that feature, you know, but, you know, this platform, I mean, 14 days is a long time from now in crypto. So as you can see in my wallet, I have just under a thousand Garuda. So I think what I'm going to do, like I said, is switch that over to BUSD. But yeah, so this is a Panther swap clone. And Panther Swap, by the way, is a full sale finance clone. Uh, it's a fork of that. It's not a clone. Excuse me. It's a fork. So, yeah, man, come on, Garuda. Come on, dog. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta put this in. Don't wait 14 to 21 days, man. I mean, 
put that in now, like ASAP, like ASAP Rocky ASAP. You know, put that in now. You know what I'm saying? But they got other features that I like. You know, the um, automatic liquidity. You know, I like that. Um, the migrator code, the three percent referral, which they just changed to ten percent for two weeks. You know, so you get ten percent referral bonus. Um, and that 75% of the deposit fee, y'all gotta do that now. So, okay, so that's my update on that. The top, the total value locked before I go is still 39 million. So they still got a, a quite decent amount of capital on this platform. So Gator Swap, this is the new one. This one just came out today. It literally came out around 10.50 uh, a.m. this morning. I got in. Uh, one minute after this started. So I've been in since the beginning at, of the inception of it. So the price has dropped significantly because everybody been taking profit. I remember when it first started, it started off at, uh, when I first looked at it, it was, a, it was almost like 500 some dollars, you know, but people have been dumping, you know, congratulations to people who've made profit. Um, as you can see, I have 76 Gator to harvest, which is around $94. I'm going to harvest that right now. And I will continue to farm this thing. Um, like I said, it's a, a fork of a uh, Panther swap. So it has the same features, you know, the anti well uh, custom code relating to tax and burn, all that stuff that I do actually like. So let's just take a look at some of the pools, you know. Um, on their swap so you can see the gator busd is a uh, 63,000 percent the gator bnb is 64,000 percent the bnb busd is still over 1500 um, they do have a harvest lockup which is some of the new features i actually do like you know so the gator and the uh, busd and bnb pool is only two hours then it's eight hours for the rest of them um, as you can see you can look at the pools they got a decent amount uh, cake BNB is a thousand percent. The the percentages are still high because it's fairly new. Um, all right, let's look at the pools. So they got a Gator pool, which is twenty one thousand percent. A BUSD pool, which is over a thousand percent. Wrap BNB. This is the pool I'm in, and it's been paying out well. I've been accumulating really, really fast. But I have to make a decision with my BNB because I just bought some. You know, because everything was on a discount, which I what I was looking for. If you watch my last video, that's what you um, that's what I told you guys. I've been holding my holdings that I cashed out of in a dollar peg. And I was looking at the market and the market looked like it was going to drop. So I was just looking for discounts. So right now, man, everything is like a clearance rack. You know what I'm saying? So I got to look and see what, you know, I'm going to get some some stuff on wholesale, you know. But having said that, you know. I do like this platform. Um, the passive income is still great, although the price is dumping. You know, it's cool because I'm not holding the Gator token. So because the price of crypto, let me look at my chart. So, yeah, so it's pretty, it's moving sideways and it's getting really, really weak, man. It's looking like the price of Bitcoin and the market is going to continue to go down. Um, so... I don't want to lose my value that I have in my BNB, so I'm probably going to switch this BNB, wrap BNB to BUSD, and then just stake it that way. So I won't take the wrath of this downfall, man, because it's looking like, I don't know yet, because it's still another hour and eight minutes before this candle closed. But before I go to bed, I will know. So I'm going to keep it where it's at. But it's after this candle close, you know, if the market get weaker, which will indicate that it's definitely about to go down, I'm definitely going to move my uh, wrap BNB that I have in Gator Swap into BUSD and it's just stake the Gator token that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And a Gator Swap, you know, they got the automatic liquidity. They're doing a 7% transfer tax, you know, on automatic burning. The harvest lockup, anti well, and the deposit fee redistribution. So on theirs, four percent of the deposit fee will be charged when users enter staking or non-native pairs on GatorSwap. 
But unlike other euro funds, we do not plan to use the deposit fee to buy back and burn. It's a waste of money. Instead, we will redistribute 3% fee to Gator, Gator holders. So Panther Swap, Garuda, and Gator Swap. You all will get reflection fees. Well, it's not, they don't call it reflection fees. You all will get a redistribution just for holding the token. And according to Panther Swap, this is already live. And then on Gator Swap, according to this, they, I think they implemented it right away because it doesn't say uh, that, it, that they're going to do it in the future. So a lot of people, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know that, you know. You will get 3% of this 4% deposit fee redistributed back to the people that actually just hold the token. Now, I don't know if you will, if you're staking or not, you can go to their telegram and ask, ask them that. But according to this, you will get 3% redistribution of the 4% deposit fee, which is 75%. Same thing as Garuda. 75% of the deposit fee will go to Gator holders. So... That's a reason to actually hold your tokens. So I'm gonna, after this video, I'm going to go to their telegram. I'm going to ask them myself, you know, um, is that implemented right off the rip? Because if it is, I, I'm definitely going to hold this Gator token, you know, to get those fees. And hopefully you can get it while you're staking as well. But I don't know how that works. So, yeah, man, it's a, like I said, they got a lot of interesting features that I do like. On these new farms, it's a fork of a uh, Panther Swap, and I actually do like Panther Swap too. So I'm not geo farming on this one, but I think I might have to, you know, because I like passive income and they're offering passive income. So yeah, the last thing I want to talk about with you guys, you know, um, recently, although today Binance Smart Chain is functioning pretty good, it made me the last congestion made me look around man because i did kind of it sucked i ain't gonna lie it sucked the last time that that crap happened you know what i'm saying that was some bs you know it, the market shouldn't be that congested you know uh, where you just can't do anything um so it made me look around and i know there's a lot of people that's on matic and um what's the other one phantom which I do like Matic and Phantom a lot. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been watching those for a long time now. However, in my opinion, I think Huobi, you know, might might be, you know, I say Huobi and O oh, where is it at? OKB. A lot of people don't even know this, but OKB and um Huobi might be the next best thing to the Binance uh, smart chain because they have their own uh, similar thing. Huobi, uh, which I think a lot of people ain't just put it together, but Huobi is Heco. I know if you were on a Binance smart chain, maybe like on Auto Compound, you will see it has the BSC network and Heco. Heco is the Huobi um, Echo chain, and they have their own. Uh, ecosystem just like a uh, Binance Smart Chain, you know. So what I did uh, yesterday, because Huawei was the token was like three thirty three dollars, I did buy like three thousand dollars worth of the Huawei token, and I do have it in my wallet. So let's go to it, so I can show you guys. Let's go to the Huawei HT mainnet now. Right there is only showing four four point two because I wrapped it, so I got eighty five point two plus the four, so that's like eighty nine. I bought ninety, you know, but the tax and stuff it, it dropped me down to eighty nine. So all together, I got eighty nine Huobi tokens. So let's just see what I said right now. Yeah, I can't remember. Was it three thousand or five thousand dollars? I think it was three thousand dollars. I bought. Yeah, three thousand dollars worth of Huobi tokens, and I do believe that this token. I mean, I want to snatch it up, you know what I'm saying? Because when the market gets a uh, a little immune boost, because it's kind of sick right now, I uh, I didn't want it. I ain't want 
this token to be up to $150. And I'd be like, dang, I should have got it at 30 some dollars, you know, because not too long ago, what we talking was just 18 bucks. And I, I mean, just like that in the snap of a finger, it didn't went to 30, it went to 40. What was it at? It was like 40 some dollars, man, before the market uh, got a little sick. So, yeah, I bought $3,000 worth of Huobi tokens and I will be buying more, especially looking at this market. Uh, it looks like the market going to go down. Like I said, I, I won't know until another hour from now. But this next candle, once this next candle close, uh, I pretty much will get a good idea if the market's going to go down or not. But it's definitely trending down. So if it does, I'm going to buy some more Huobi tokens. And I'm going to explore things on that Hecko chain. So stay tuned because my next video or a couple videos down the line, I will be showing some investments on the Hecko chain. So yeah, I really do appreciate you guys for liking uh for watching this video, liking, subscribe. This is your boy Pastor Crypto and I'm out. All type of stuff going on here. Yeah, so your boy out. You know, I'm having te technical difficulties and all type of stuff, but I'm out. <laughs>